Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled "Putting Notes by the Grave of a Tzaddik." So, from, I was not there, but from what I heard, you go to the Lubavitcher Rebbe's grave, and there's many, many notes there. Kvitlach. So, what do you say about that? So, Minchas Yitzchak says that he quotes Minchas Alazar, who was very positive about the whole idea of going to Tzaddik and asking the Tzaddik, not whether the Tzaddik has the power to answer directly and, and grant you things, but just like you go to anyone and please daven for me, tell him groups you put out, please daven for me, daven for him. So, Minchazal says, so too, you go to a Tzaddik, please daven for me, even if he passed away. And then you have the Minchas Yitzhak. And he says, according to the Minchas Alazar, you could go ahead and whether you ask the Tzaddik or the Tzaddik who's alive, you can ask him down for you, can you go and give him a Kvitlach, as he didn't do that. So you can bring the Kvitlach to the grave as well. That's what the Minchas Yitzhak says. And therefore, as long as you're not davening to the mace himself, you're asking him to be, to be a male, it's Yosha, so whether you're doing it through your words, you're doing it through the notes, the Bin Chassidic defends it. He's not talking about Lubavitch Rebbe. He's talking about Chassam Sofer, where people went to Chassam Sofer's grave and they saw notes there. He said, What's going on? So he, the Bin Chassidic says, It's fine, according to that opinion, that does this. Now, in the end, he doesn't paskin the schools of thought between the Chai Adam, who says, No, these things you shouldn't go to the maze, not with the notes, not with any uh, verbal tfilos. Bin Chazal was very adamant, No, it's totally fine. But as it just says, You have this and you have this approach. Everyone should talk to the local Orthodox rabbi. Shalom.